Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today I'm going to be doing another face massage tutorial. I know you guys very much enjoy them just like I do. Uh, I'm a big big fan of any kind of lymphatic drainage massage. I have a video on full face lymphatic drainage massage or on a lymphatic drainage massage for your body using a dry brush. I also have gua sha all sorts of different things. I recently posted another uh, kind of like an updated version of the gua sha massage which I love. Today we're going to be concentrating on our jaw um, area and on our mouth area as well as our neck. So if you are trying to work on your nasal labial folds here, if you are working on the lines here, some people get quite, I think they're called marionette lines, um, just here. Um, if you're just trying to tone your jawline and make it more um, like snatched is maybe the word, um, or if you're just working on toning your neck and improving the texture of your skin in those areas, this is what we're going to be concentrating on today. However, um, what I'm going to say is that even if you are not looking to particularly work on your jaw or on your neck, any kind of lymphatic drainage massage, especially when you're working on your neck and around um, this area under our ears, this will improve um, puffiness in your eyes. It will improve the overall uh, appearance of your face because um, this is where our lymphatic system has a lot of nodes. So we have the terminal nodes here, a lot of nodes located in our jaw and uh, on our neck. So anytime you will be working with this area and draining the toxins out, this will reduce the puffiness. So I am going to get my oil and then we will get started. I'm just going to apply a little bit of oil. Uh, I'm using my my Aurelia Cell Repair Night Oil. Um, this is probably my favorite oil to massage with, but also my favorite oil full stop. Just find a product that you know will give you that glide and lubrication on your skin, but maybe not gonna break you out. I have quite a few breakouts, hormonal breakouts at the moment. So we're just gonna start warming up. So I have applied the oil onto my hands and I'm just gonna start working it into my face and into my neck. So we're warming up the lymph nodes, we're warming up the skin, we are getting that circulation going. We're going to be draining towards our supraclavicular node, which is just located in our collarbone. So maybe wear something where you can access your collarbones. So I'm also going to just place my hands into my collarbones and just apply a few uh, like presses there to warm up that node. You might kind of feel a little bit of resistance there um, and you might feel a little bit of a tingling, um, you might get hot, you might get cold. This is completely normal because our lymphatic system doesn't have a pump. We need uh, to rely on the um, contractions of our hearts to pump that system and on exercise and things like that. I'm going to take my knuckles, so I'm going to bend my fingers like that and I'm just going to start working on my neck here. Just kind of circular motions with my knuckles and with my fingers, warming everything up, bringing blood to the surface of the skin, getting that circulation, promoting any renewal and collagen production as well. Lymphatic fluid is actually quite superficial, so it's quite close to the surface of your skin, so you don't have to apply a lot of pressure when you work with it. And then I'm going to move on to my cheek. So here you can either just do circular motions like this. Again, not try not to drag your skin too much. If you feel like you're dragging, just a little bit less pressure or a little bit more oil. Some people ask me if coconut oil is good for massage. Uh, coconut oil is definitely last on my list when it comes to skincare because it is quite comedogenic. Um, and it will clog your pores, so I would rather use almond oil, I would use grapeseed oil, I would use rose hip um, above any, above coconut. So, but take your pick. If you have a cream or a serum that will give you that lubrication, go with that. Whatever will give you the glide. So I'm moving kind of from my mouth towards my ears, so I'm not staying in one place. I'm moving towards my ears. Can also give a 
give your chin a little bit of a massage like this. So now I'm going to take two fingers and place them just um, on my collarbone or uh, above my collarbone and then I'm going to start with the flicking motion on my neck. So it's just two fingers and you can flick up from where your fingers are. Our other fingers are just supporting our skin. You can try different kind of ways to do that. Whatever feels like a more natural um, movement for you. So sometimes some people find this easier, some people find this easier. So again, we're moving along our neck. Just kind of flicking motion. Any kind of pinching and flicking motions are great for your skin. Now we're going to do the same on our face, so holding your fingers here. I'm just going to start flicking up this way. And again, I'm moving along my jaw towards my ear and then back. This can be quite tiring on your hands, so it's like a workout for your hands and your arms as well. So now I'm going to place my hand under my chin and then take the heel of my hand and we're going to go up towards the ear and back. So I'm just gliding along my jaw with the palm, with the heel of my palm. And with this hand it is just supporting the skin there so it doesn't drag. My other massage, I actually also like to do it like this when your thumb goes behind your ear. Now I'm going to pinch my fingers like this, placing my thumb under and kind of creative like an L shape. And then we're going to move from the chin towards the ear. So each movement you can repeat from five to seven times. Um, you can do this every day if you feel like you need it or if you want to, um, or you can do this once a week if that's all the time you have. If you feel like your skin is dragging when you do this, you can kind of follow with your other hand just so you're giving your skin that support. So now I'm going to take two fingers like this and I'm going to go from my jawline to under my cheekbone. So again we are moving towards the ear and then we go back to the mouth and slide up. Uh, we're going to do one side of our face first and then kind of compare it a little bit to the other side. Because this kind of massage always has um, an immediate effect, but it also very much has an accumulative effect. Next, I'm going to bend my fingers like this, and with my knuckles, I'm going to slide up towards my cheekbone. And then just under the cheekbone, I'm just going to rock there and back twice. And then again, sliding up. And a bit of a rocking. Gliding, pushing up and rocking back and forward. We're working here as much on the jaw as much we are working on the cheekbones and just on that structure of your face. Then I'm going to place my fingers like this and continuing on this side I'm going to start almost like rolling a little bit of skin towards the cheekbone, press it a bit here and release and then moving closer to the ear it's not a pinch, it's just a firm hold, so don't give yourself any bruises. We're just working with the muscles and the tissue on our face. So one more this way. 
Now we're gonna go on a diagonal, so more like this. This is kind of like you're giving yourself a massage, you're giving yourself a facial at the same time. And it's more, and I kind of find it very meditative, meditative and relaxing when I do this as well. Just some me time. So now we are going to move on to the other side of the face but first before we do I want you to really see the difference between the sides. It's quite tricky to see in light like this but even if you just feel your face you will feel how much firmer um, and tone the muscles of um, this side feel and for me they look like that as well. So we're gonna start with that flicking motion so placing your fingers here we're gonna start flicking just on our neck. So again try different sides, try different arms. Any kind of pinching motion, I love like a pinch massage and you can even take um, just a, with a pinch and pinch from both sides of your neck and on your jaw. Like you can really pinch anywhere on your face. This is more of a bonus at the moment than following the routine that we have. So I'm going to go back to that flicking motion on my neck. And then move on to sliding my heel on my jawline towards my ear. You might almost feel like some cracking um, in your jawline. Um, those are just knots and tension that we hold. If you grind your teeth, um, this is really good. I grind my teeth at night. Or if you just hold a lot of tension in your jaw and especially here, um, this is fantastic to release that tension. So quite a firm pressure here because we are working with some quite large muscles, especially in our jaw that we use for mastication. And then pinching both hands like this and sliding towards the ear. And again, if you feel like you're pulling, just follow with the palm, with your fingers along. So if you don't want to do one side and then the other, you can do all of the movements at the same time if you just don't have as much time, for example. Now we're going to connect our two fingers this way. So we're going to start sliding from the jawline towards the cheekbone. And then we're going to go with the knuckles and rock them back and forward and release. You might feel quite tired after this when you work with the lymphatic system. A lot of the times it can uh, make you quite tired, can make you a bit drowsy. Um, as well, but that's just a sign that you should be doing it more. Sometimes we get scared with this, with the aftermath of um, things that we do, but really you just have to listen to your body. Maybe you just felt a little bit neglected in that area. Now we're going to put our fingers like this. And just roll our skin towards the cheekbone, hold here and release. I 
can do this massage much faster than I am doing it today. But obviously for demonstration purposes, I want to take my time to show you guys the technique. So now I'm going to go more on a diagonal. Now I'm going to take both hands, place my fingers on either side of my chin. I'm going to go all the way up until the heel of my palm meets my cheekbones. I'm going to press here and then we're going to flick up. So it's like a um, releasing motion. It's not too rough, but you are just kind of playing with the gravity here, just releasing your skin down quite quick. Might look funny for a minute. So just sliding your cheeks up and then letting them go. Last one. Um, next I'm going to take two of my first fingers. I only have two first fingers, but I'm going to place them on either side of my nose with the pads like pressing against my nose. I'm going to turn my fingers out so they're rotating and then I'm going to flick out. So it's like an 180 degree rotation, maybe it's 180. And then we're flicking. So we're working with the nasal labial folds here, with these folds right here. So it's just quite a quick motion here. And you can work down if your folds like are going a little bit lower, uh, or you can stay just here. So we can work all the way down to the jaw. So now we're just going to move on to the chin once more. So what I want you to do is place both of your thumbs under your chin and you will feel a muscle that is just under your chin there. And then we're going to push those thumbs towards your chin and at the same time you're just going to almost like tense um, your lower jaw and push against. So you will be able to feel it. You can almost open your mouth a little bit to create that resistance. So I am just pushing against my thumbs and you will be feeling this in your jaws right here as well. So just a few more times. And then from here we're just going to do a bit of a sliding up motion on both sides of our face so it's like a lifting motion you can do it quite slowly or you can do a bit of a flicking like we did before you can use all the surface of your fingers like this or you can just use your fingertips so on both sides and then I'm just gonna do a little bit of a massage here so we are just circle massaging that tight jaw muscles that we have. Just one way and then the other way. And from here we're just going to slide up towards the nose, towards the ears and down towards our clavicles. So we're just draining everything down, get ridding, getting rid of any toxins. That is us done, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this. I certainly feel quite toned and like my muscles have been worked, which is great. And I hope you are feeling it and seeing some results. Thank you so much for joining me for this. If you have any questions or any ideas for other things, let me know. I am thinking to do a massage for an eye area. 
sort of like a deep puffing um, and just toning massage for eyes and brows. So if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comment section below. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for joining me and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet. And I will see you guys very, very soon in my next video. Bye!